After the First World War, the ind local industries had gone into decline and the people who were in work were not able to contribute sufficient for supporting the really poor. There were 44,000 people claiming relief from the local council, compared with other rich areas of London which would, you know, maybe have a thousand people claiming relief. They decided to make a stand against what they thought of this unfair situation between the rich and the poor areas and popular decided they were not going to pay that money. They were going to concentrate on raising and spending money only in the area of Poplar. £33,000 was due to be paid to London County Council and it wasn't paid. And so the London County Council went to court to compel the Poplar councillors to pay this money. The way that the council reacted to this summons was to actually organise a march from Poplar to the High Courts. The march was actually led by the Deputy Mayor, who was my grandfather, Charlie Sumner. Regrettably, the, the court decided, as you would expect, that they had no alternative to insist that the councillors paid, raised the rate and paid the money to the London County Council. If they didn't do that, they would be sent to prison. They would be in contempt of court. The mayor was arrested uh, and a number of councillors. There were five women on the council um, and you know, th this was a, the first time you really actually had women councillors and they arranged for themselves to be arrested at the town hall and they reckon about 5,000 people turned up to accompany the women while they were being arrested. The women went to Holloway Prison, the men were sent to Brixton Prison. Mum certainly told us stories of her going to prison for Poplar and of her mother visiting her in prison. She had got very involved in Poplar in the causes for the working people. She decided to be to change parties from a Conservative to a Labour. So when this um, tax was put on, this extra tax, which they reckon was the poor, taxing the poor in Poplar. Uh, she was appalled and if it meant going to prison that was what it would be. The authorities then said, well, you're here in prison because of contempt of court. All you have to do is say you're sorry. In some senses the establishment needed a reason to let the councillors out and that was afforded by a letter that was prepared um, partly at least by my grandfather. The beginning bit of which uh, said we desire to express our profound regret that our action has involved us in disobedience to the order of the court and further to disclaim any wish to treat the court otherwise than with the respect due to it. What the letter doesn't do is apologise for the actions of the Poplar councillors. What it regrets is that they, uh, that they have come into conflict with the court. So it's not an apology, it's uh, a subtle, in some senses, restatement of their beliefs and their, uh, and their action. But it was enough to, uh, to allow the court to let them out. They won. They had, they had made their case. They one, they got the result they wanted. They improved the life for the poor people in the poor areas of London. She became um, an MP, or she stood then for Parliament for uh, East Ham, that without doubt she was campaigning very, very strongly on the side of the working class people, the poor people, that she got to know very well during her days as a councillor. This was the first time that the law was defied and uh, it was only through that that there was change and that has a change which uh, that has an effect which resonated down the years and still will.